Waves just announced the brand new Cosmos AI artificial intelligence powered sample manager. Now the launch was on point. It was all over YouTube and this is a sample manager that's supposed to be a game changer where it listens to each individual sample, it tags them, it puts them in a key, it adds characteristics. So you can really filter down all your samples to find that perfect sound. So being the gear junkie that I am, I immediately downloaded it because it's free. And I took my one terabyte of anal retentive organized samples and I drug it in and I waited and I waited some more and kept waiting. And after about two days of waiting, I decided to take a step back and ask myself, do I really need to bring in all of my samples into this because it takes a while. I've read online that it can take anywhere from two seconds to 20 seconds to analyze each sample. So in this video, I want to check out this brand new Cosmos artificial intelligence sampler to the tried and tested ADSR sample manager on a couple of different areas. One, how long does it take to import and analyze a folder? Two, how are the basics? How is the file structure laid out? Can I have subfolders inside of there? Because if you can't get the basics, navigation can be a little cumbersome. And also three, what is the best way that we can all use both of these amazing programs to get the most out of it and maximize our workflow? Let's go. All right, first we're gonna jump in and import a folder. Here we have test import. It's about 10 gigs of some random sample packs. And we're gonna split the screen in half and import it into both programs at the exact same time. Here, let's just highlight where it is and click import. Now you'll see on the right, ADSR does a visual representation of the scanning process. Then it reads the names for the tags. And then we're gonna have to click okay and go up to the top where we see a percentage of the analyzed. Now the reason why the percentage didn't start at zero is because it's just being added to the overall library which makes up a bigger amount than the actual test import. So that's gonna go through and analyze the files. And then on the left here, Cosmos gives us this um, circle. It's a circle that just has a progress that goes through the circle. And let's check out the times and see how long it took to import that test folder into each one of these programs. After waiting for the analyzation to complete on the 10 gig test folder, we came up with the following times. ADSR Sample Manager came in at five minutes, while Waves Cosmos came in at 55 minutes. So if we had a one terabyte hard drive that we did want to analyze, the ADSR Sample Manager would come in at 8.3 hours, while Waves Cosmos would come in at 91.6 hours or 3.8 days. Now I do understand that underneath Cosmos, there's a lot more going on with the analyzation because it's listening to each sample. It's giving it characteristics. It's giving it things of that sort. But the question that I just wanna ask in this video is, do you need that on every single one of your samples? If you do, and you have the time to wait for the analyzation process, then Cosmos is the one for you. However, an alternative could be analyzing specific files that you do want Cosmos to listen to, give it a key, give it characteristics, while the samples that you don't feel are necessary to go through that rigorous process, you can save some time and some CPU just by not having them inside of Cosmos. Now, let's take a look at just the basic browser pane and see how it is to get around the folder structure of each one of these sample managers. We are inside of ADSR Sample Manager and looking over at the browse section on the left, we see the test import that we brought in. One big advantage I think about the file structure over here is the ability to have subfolders and then narrow down the search according to the subfolders. Most people that do already have a sample library they're bringing in probably have some sort of organizational structure with their folders that they are used to navigating. So let's say I'm making a pop song. I can narrow down my entire search just to my pop folder and I can take it a step farther by clicking down, I see all of my subfolders. So if I wanted to search just in all my drums, this now narrows down my search only to my drums, but I can narrow it down through my subfolders even more by going down and say, I just wanna search in my kicks. And then here are all my kicks. You can see one disadvantage of the ADSR sample manager is there's no key on a lot of the drums where I like to make all my music with the drums in key. So this can be an issue. Currently, what I usually do is I adjust the key uh, according to ear and that seems to work fairly well. So 
One big benefit about the ADSR sample manager is this structure of maintaining your folders and your subfolders. So if I wanted to go into pop, drums, kicks, and then narrow it down and search just within a specific pack that I know I think the sound is somewhere inside of there, I could do it with this. Now, if you wanted to clear out this, you could go right up here and just hit the X and then that will bring all the folders back online, clearing out all the search history. So one big advantage of the ADSR sample manager is the file structure over here where you're maintaining your current file structure with a master folder and then subfolders underneath it. So one slight frustration inside of ADSR sample manager is the tagging system. So if I selected my pop folder and then wanted to come over to my tags, they still show all of the tagged categories that don't relate to this folder, they're just grayed out. It would be nice if there was an update where all of these that didn't relate would just hide or disappear. Or on the top here, if it had suggestions of the highest rated matching. So positives about the ADSR sample manager is the folder structure over here with a master folder and then maintaining all your subfolders if you did want to narrow your search down based on your pre-existing folder search. Big negative though is the tagging system, how it seems cluttered. It's a bit much to sort through this giant list of tags in order to narrow down your samples. So here we are inside of Cosmos and over on the left we have a tree of all the folders that we've imported including our test import. The first negative that sort of stands out with Cosmos on this main pane is under drums, how in ADSR we had access to all the sub menus that would help us narrow it down quicker. We only have access to that main folder that we've brought in. Now inside of Cosmos, the tagging system is very well done up here, which helps you narrow down the results that you're looking for. And I do have the option to turn off other folders. Now, if I had a large list of let's say 20 or 30 folders and I wanted to narrow it down to one, the way I could possibly do that is turn off all the local folders and just turn on that single one. We have to wait a little bit of time for it to refresh. And we also have to wait a little bit of time for the tags to regenerate on the top. And once they generate, we can see how the response time is to let's say search through this file structure. So. Let's say I wanted to look for a snare. I would find my snare up here. I click on that and we wait a little bit. And now we can narrow it down even more. Let's say we wanted to go to a electronic snare and then we wait for the tags to refresh. Still waiting for the tags to refresh. There we go and we want a punchy snare. What's happening under the hood here is Cosmos is looking through all of the tags that it applied to all these samples and then narrowing down the search even further, which is great. However, you are going to have to be a little bit patient because depending on the size of the folder that you're looking at, it does take a little bit of time with Cosmos. So let's say we find our sample and we wanna clear it out. We can clear it out and we're gonna go over here to turn all these back on. Instead of going through and clicking all of the folders, if we had a lot of them, we just want to click the local folders and turn them all back on. It's gonna take a moment and it's gonna bring all of our tags back online. There we go. So within Cosmos, the tagging is amazing and it's it does a really, really good job at listening to each one and applying the appropriate characteristics to each one of these samples. However, over on the left, it's a little bit frustrating and it lacks a little bit in maintaining your folder structure. So if I wanted to have access to all of my subfolders, I'd have to bring in each subfolder one at a time and we would end up with a massive list here that we would be scrolling through quite a bit. So just to recap with browsing, the benefits of ADSR are maintaining that file structure with a master folder, subfolders underneath, the negative, 
the cumbersome tagging structure. Now, as opposed to Cosmos, where the tagging structure is amazing. It does a great job of analyzing every file, giving it a characteristic, and allowing you to go through and narrow down your selection so what you're hearing is exactly what you're looking for. Negative Cosmos, though, is you lose that folder structure. You lose the master folder and all the subfolders, and also, there's a little bit of lag and a little bit of time because it is a little bit more intensive of what it's actually doing. So that brings us to the final part of the video of how you plan on using these two, whether you're gonna use only one, only the other, or use them combined together. For me, I think the best way to maximize my workflow is using them both for their strengths. First, ADSR does actually run as an insert inside of your DAW, so you can run the whole sample library as a plugin using it to trigger samples, trigger loops. I love that. On a lot of my tracks, it's where all of my drums are built off of, so if I wanna go back and change a drum sample, I don't have to then drag in a new sample. I can just click through and listen to it, audition it in real time while I'm going through the entire list of samples and hear which one fits the best. I love the file structure. I love being able to maintain and narrow down my search based on my own folder structure that I've imported. However, Cosmos shines in its analyzation of the files, assigning it to a key and the characteristics. So what I've done is I've gone through my entire one terabyte sample library and taken out all the things that say untitled and put them into their own untitled folder. Now this is inside of the Cosmos breakdown video that Waves posted and I think this is a genius part of Cosmos. So all the samples that have nothing in the title, they just say untitled, Cosmos has gone through and listened to them giving them characteristics, an instrument, a key, a tempo, and that allows me not to just have a bunch of useless samples sitting around, and I plan on going through the entire folder and figuring out which ones I wanna keep. So both of these programs have their positives. Both of them have some frustrations and negatives, but I think if you play to the positives and play to the strengths of each one of these programs, you can have an optimal workflow that works for you. So let me know in the comments below how you're using these. Do you favor one over the other or is there another program that you feel trumps both of these and is much better than both of them combined? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Now go make something cool.